हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेस द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज पीपीटी इज इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग टूल्स इन साइबर फॉरेंसिक्स एंड दिस पीपीटी इज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय दीप्ति पारवे एंड प्रेजेंटेड बाय श्रुतिका सिंगला द मेन कंटेंट ऑफ आर पीपीटी इज इंट्रोडक्शन व्हाट इज साइबर क्राइम डिफरेंट इन्वेस्टिगेशन टूल्स इन साइबर फॉरेंसिक कंक्लूजन एंड एम First of all the question arises what is cyber forensic so basically cyber forensic is that branch of forensic science which deals with digital evidences their analysis their collection preservation report formation and presentation of report in court of law in cyber crime uh, we work on digital evidences so that we get to know the modus operandi of any crime and we uh, we forensic scientist extract important da- data from those digital evidences that can be a proof for solving any crime after dealing with the term cyber forensic we deal we come face to face with a term which is cyber crime so basically what is cyber crime i will give my definition you have to comment your definition below what do you know about cyber crime okay so according to me cyber crimes are those crimes which include computer computer basically have digital evidences what can be a digital evidence digital evidence can be anything that can that is sent digitally on a uh, computer via some digital devices like uh, email text message photos videos any media audio everything is included in digital evidences and if any crime occurs by using those evidences then that crime is known as cyber crime so what are we going to discuss in this video we are basically going to discuss different investigating tool in cyber forensic and th- in this video we will be discussing about five which are very common first is n case ftk imager autopsy win hacks and pro discover we'll going to discuss their application their characteristics and how these can be used in cyber forensic for uh, solving various crime scenes crime cases we will first discuss about n case it was first released in 1998 and it can work on windows operating system okay the current version of n case which is in use is v6.16.1 and its file extension says .eo1 what is good about n case is that it have tools which can deal with various digital forensics their analysis their acquisition and reporting we can also encrypt and decrypt the data that are available in the digital evidences like what is encryption and decryption basically encryption is locking any data and decryption is delocking or unlocking any data if a data is preserved or it is packed with a password then we can uh, decrypt the data with the help of n case and if any data is open and we want to save the data we don't want the data to be accessible to everyone then we can encrypt the data we can uh, protect the data so it is very uh, feasible with the n case tool and uh, it is a standard tool which is accepted in judiciary also and it is very user friendly what are other advantages of n case is we can use n case uh, for extraction of data in any type of digital devices like we can use n case for mobiles tablets laptop pc supercomputers for every device we can use n case and it helps in extraction of data from those tools and from those devices basically it is very feasible and it is the best digital forensic tool which is used among government and private agencies it also provide us an option of quick search like uh, th- if the data is very high high amount of data we have and we have to extract some particular kind of data and we know the name of the data it helps us to search and extract the data okay that's why n case is most commonly used and it is the best tool for digital forensics 
सो आर नेक्स्ट टूल इज एफ टी के इमेजर विच वॉज रिलीज इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी टू फॉर विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम द करंट वर्जन विच वी आर यूजिंग ऑफ एफ टी के इमेजर इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव एंड वट फाइल एक्सटेंशन इट कैन यूज इज डी डी और रॉ डाटा ए डी आई इट ऑल्सो सपोर्ट ई ओ वन एक्सटेंशन फाइल्स ओके सो इट इज ऑल्सो यूज बाय एनफोर्समेंट ऑफिशियल्स कॉरपोरेट सिक्योरिटी आई टी प्रोफेशनल्स एंड इट ऑल्सो अलाउ अस टू गेट द डाटा फ्रॉम फाइल्स फोल्डर एंड कंप्यूटर एफ टी के इमेजर कैन लाइक एनालाइज ई मेल्स इट कैन ऑल्सो डिक्रिप्ट फाइल्स इट कैन अलाउ अस टू विजुअलाइज डाटा इट कैन काव डाटा एंड ऑल्सो वॉट इज मेन प्रो ऑफ यूजिंग एफ टी के इमेजर इज दैट इट यूटिलाइज मल्टी कोर सी पी यूज टू पैरलाइज एक्शन बियॉन्ड दिस एफ टी के इमेजर टूल इट ऑल्सो क्रिएट इमेज ऑफ हार्ड ड्राइव सी डी यू एस बी डिवाइसिस एंड इट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स अस टू प्रिव्यू और व्यू द डाटा दैट हैज बीन स्टोर्ड इन दीज डिवाइसिस सो many of the tools do not allow us to view the data that is stored in hard drive cd usbs but ftk major allow us to uh, visualize the data and use those data to read the data so it is a uh, advantage of using ftk major tool another advantage of ftk major is that it allow us to use a single database we can all share a single database and the data can be saved on the database what that means is like consider for example we are a team and we are a team of four members a b c and d i'll say member a will do analysis part 1 member b will do analysis part 2 member 3 will do analysis part 3 and member d you have to make a final report of the analysis that all the all other members are doing so what i will do i will share the copy of the database to them like you have to modify your files individually and then you have to send it to me i will uh, and i will see it and i will merge it according to me according to the analysis and i will make a one file okay then uh, what is this like they are doing their thing but i have to do more by merging those by seeing like acha member a has done this member b has done this member c has done this now i have to add this in my file again and again but what ftk major do ftk major is like it is a single database i have made copies but the modification that they have made will be saved on that single database i don't have to work on it again and again i don't have to take uh, the modification by member a and add it i have not i had don't have to take modification by member p and add it because uh, that tool is doing that it by its own i don't have to do it so that is the advantage of using ftk imager thank you everyone for watching this video for part 2 stay tuned and subscribe to our channel applied forensic research sciences